Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. In the 21st century, it's hard to imagine life without our chatting apps. Today, we're going to share what features contributed to WhatsApp's success, as well as discuss the front-end and back-end technology stacks for building an app like WhatsApp. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. With 1.5 billion users, WhatsApp has one of the largest number of active users globally, competing with the likes of its owner Facebook, as well as YouTube. As the number of mobile users increases, the number of active users is set to increase for WhatsApp, making it the most popular chatting app. So now let's have a look at some of the features that have helped to contribute to making WhatsApp so successful. The first thing we're gonna look at is mobile as a platform. In the late 2000s, there was a desktop application called Skype, but as smartphones gained momentum in iOS and Android platforms, there was a gap in the market for a chatting app on phones. WhatsApp took advantage of that and became the first mobile first application. WhatsApp soon implemented VoIP. Next is the user onboarding experience. Users were frustrated with Skype's long login. Instead, WhatsApp introduced one-time logins associated with phone numbers. This in turn brought all the contacts on the user's phone on WhatsApp too. The phone specific IDs offered trust as well. The third thing we're gonna look at is the end-to-end -end encryption. WhatsApp was the first platform that introduced an end-to-end -end encryption for users' privacy. Privacy was not a big concern back then. So with innovative features, WhatsApp attracted new audiences and increased user engagement. This allowed them to dominate others. The key takeaway is privacy, cross-platform compatibility, and user ease for building an app like WhatsApp. Here's a look at the technology stack. So let's take a look at their technology stack, starting with security. Today, privacy of the user is the main focus. So security features are essential. WhatsApp has partnered with Open Whisper Systems to build an end-to-end -end encryption system. This means that all communication happening in the app is secure to the point where even WhatsApp can't decrypt it. When it comes to authentication, this is the need to protect users from spam and fraud. This can't be done through a third-party API, so Nexmo API can be used for authentication through phone numbers. When it comes to the backend for a chat app, it's understood that you'll need to store a lot of data. This includes images, text messages, videos, GIFs, or GIFs, et cetera, et cetera. So the backend needs to have an infrastructure like RESTful API, or databases like PostgreSQL, notification services, file storage services like Amazon S3, messaging protocols like XMPP, uh, web servers like Nginx, et cetera, et cetera. For chatting, a chatting app involves processing thousands of messages without any delay for ongoing communication. WebSocket is the connection between server and app. It offers fast, direct, and continual communication. Notification is essential to retaining a user and keeping them coming back to the app. This is an important solution that can be attained by Firebase cloud messaging technology for Android and iOS Firebase, or Apple push notifications. Video calling is crucial for the success of any chat app. Voice over internet protocol, also known as VoIP, is the technology that is used to exchange voice calls and multimedia sessions on the internet. Now let's take a more in-depth look at the technology stack for building an app like WhatsApp when it comes to the mobile development. For the programming language, for Android, you're gonna be looking at Kotlin and Java. For iOS, you're gonna be looking at Swift and Objective-C. For local storage, when it comes to Android, you can look at core data. For iOS, SQLite. When it comes to social authentication, on Android, you can look at Facebook SDK. For iOS, you can look at Twitter. For preferences on Android, you can look at user defaults. iOS, be shared preferences. For chat on Android, you can look at star screen. For iOS, OK HTTP. When it comes to video and voice calling, for Android and iOS, it would be WebRTC. Now let's look at the back end. When it comes to the back end for programming languages, you're gonna be looking at JavaScript, Ruby, CSS3, HTML5. For SQL data storage, you'd be looking at PostgreSQL. For automation frameworks, it'd be PhantomJS, Capybara, and RSpec. For the web server and application server, you'd be looking at Puma and Nginx. For key value storage, you'd be looking at Redis. 
And for hosting, you'd be looking at Amazon Web Services. Keep in mind, the point of this isn't for you to build an app exactly like WhatsApp. Sometimes all you need is one key exclusive feature to make it a success. You have to carefully study what your users need next. So there you have it. We've discussed the key features that contribute to the success of WhatsApp and the front end and back end stacks for an app like WhatsApp. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.